Hi, Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist here. Well, somebody asked me last week, tell us about your routine. You know, you're in pretty great health. And uh, I was a little bit reticent about that, you know. But it's just that it maybe inspires somebody. But, you know, I'm going on 64 and I'm in pretty great health. I have to say, you know, there's a picture of me. <laughs> and uh, at 64, I'm still kicking, you know what? So uh, I think it's important that we have a regular routine and we stick to it and uh, and make ourselves, you know, healthy. You know, I can't make anybody healthy unless they have a routine and they stick to it. And uh, it's very important that we have some kind of health routine in general. You know, I get up at 5 o'clock every day. Actually, the alarm goes off at 5.02. And I have one of those clocks that speak to you, you know. And 5.02. Okay. You know, hit the button. I get up about 5.15. Uh, first thing I do is, you know, thank God and for another wonderful day. And I go into the bathroom and then shave and uh, uh, brush my teeth and all that kind of thing. I make my own toothpaste uh, with coconut oil and uh, baking soda, sometimes some neem in there. Also, I use once a month or twice a month uh, tea tree oil on my teeth and uh, brush with that. And so that takes care of that and, you know, use the bathroom, that type of thing. And... From there, it's first thing I do is take the dogs for a walk after I get breakfast done. And the breakfast is, uh, we, I either cook some kiwa or chia seeds and uh, oatmeal together, or I just have, uh, most of the time, I have to say, I just take uh, flattened uh, raw oatmeal and pour it into the bowl and then we eat it that way uh, with lots of different fruit on top so anyway I'm putting the eating the bowls out I'm not actually putting the food in there I'm putting out the bowls and and putting out my wife's vitamins and and her uh, different herbs that I recommend for her and I feed the dogs we have two little dogs and from there we go for a walk and we I do about a mile and a half or two miles with the dogs uh, they're little dogs so they can't go too far. And then I come back and do my meditation for an hour. And from there, then that's really important to me. I, I don't go a day without doing a, an hour of meditation in the morning and an hour in the evening. And it just centers me and I feel so great. And it's also good for the body. It gets rid of the stress too. And then from there, we get up, and uh, by that time, my wife is up. <laughs> and uh, we, we get breakfast, and um, I say a little prayer over breakfast. And from there, I usually have some papaya, some other fruits, a lot of berries. I always have goji berries on our, on our fruit. And I uh, use a little stevia, and, uh, sometimes honey. We just had a lady from... Uh, the East Coast into some wonderful honey, so we use that once in a while. I, I don't really get along with honey that well, so I, I usually use stevia. And uh, a little bit of nut milk or soy milk. I'm a lover of soy, so I use it all the time. And I find it's really beneficial for lots of people, I think everybody in general. And uh, from there, uh, I do my workout. My workout, uh, I have uh, a chin-up bar, a pull-up bar, and do 100 and, 110 pull-ups, uh, 110 push-ups, you know, push-ups, 110 crunches, crunches, and uh, I also have a TRX system. So uh, different days I do different things. Uh, I'll work out on a TRX system or I have a Tower 200 system which I work with, with also and weights. So I work with that. One of those three uh, do, uh, throughout the day uh, in the morning sometime. And then by that time it's uh, time to get my shower and go do my writing and uh, do my work and do consultations 
and I do that till about uh, one o'clock, two o'clock. And during that, after time after having breakfast, I'm eating, you know, cucumbers and celery and uh, enjoying um, uh, lots of fresh veggies. A lot of times I do almost every day green juicing, four or five glasses of green juice throughout the day. Sometimes, with, you know, we have a lot of spinach growing outside, all kinds. I have a Moroccan spinach and a Taiwanese spinach and a <laughs> Uh, another type of spinach, so we make spinach uh, uh, juice and then put some uh, green apple, organic, all organic of course, and uh, some carrots in there and make a, a juice that I drink on a regular basis. And I, we grow bananas, so we have bananas, so they're all, all organic, and uh, lots of different fruit, anything organic that I can find really pineapple organic, uh, lots of different things. And so, yeah, also I forgot to say, in the morning I take, um, first thing in the morning, before I even basically get into the, to, uh, the bathroom, I take uh, cordyceps, one capsule of that, uh, go to cola, one capsule of that, uh, two B-complex uh, capsule, and uh, Corella, 3,000 milligrams, and that's get me going. And also, sometimes I take some uh, fenugreek, a little bit of that in the morning. Yeah, I, I think I find it's really good for just about everything in the body. So anyway, I'm going through the day, and so I'm eating a lot of raw during the day, it's raw from breakfast all the way around. And then I go to the mall uh, because here. During the summer, it's really hot and really humid, so I try to walk outside as much as possible, but it, here is sometimes impossible. Uh, I hate dripping wet. Even in the morning, I, even when going for the dogs, uh, sometimes I change my shirt twice <laughs> before I even get home. You know, I, I come in and change my shirt, and I'm still hot, so I'll end up changing my shirt again even before I go do my meditation. Uh, so we go to the mall and I walk another five miles, so we end up getting about six and a half miles in uh, by the time the day is, is over. And then I come back and uh, I'm already done with my writing, I may have some more consoles to do in the afternoon, and I cook dinner. And dinner is usually a hot meal, and that hot meal is usually a soup or a stew or a casserole or something, or a lot of times I make salad also. Uh, I just love salad, and it's all organic. And you can see my recipes if you go to my uh, paulhater.com uh, website, www.paulhater.com. And I, every week I post a new recipe on Thursday. And so we, I try to be innovative and try new things, and uh, I make everything from soups, stews, casseroles, desserts, uh, um, sometimes uh, cornbread and different things, so pizza, whole foods, plant-based diet things that help people to be very healthy. And, and then I'm doing more consults and then doing my reading after that. So this time we're getting around four or five o'clock and doing some reading and uh, I love to read. And so uh, I'll either read in a book or I have my Kindle and I read on that and then I end up, I go to bed very early. Uh, I might watch at the most one hour of TV at the most, no more. And I go to bed at eight o'clock. So before I go to bed, I'm doing one hour of meditation now. So about seven, I'm going to bed. And from there, I um, do one hour of meditation and going to bed. And, uh, and also saying a lot of prayers. And throughout the day, I'm also saying a lot of um, prayers all, all day long and also saying the name of God on a regular basis over and over and over again. That's just a mantra for me. Uh, and I also try to smile on a all the time because I think that's really important. People don't smile enough. And I also take a glass of water to bed with me and uh, at night I may take some valerian if I need to, not always, as chamomile and also fenugreek again. 
And so uh, that's it. Really simple. I think it's really important to have a routine that everybody should put together their own routine. And this is not say this is exactly what you should do at all. I'm just saying that it's important to find your voice of finding peace inside and also taking care of this this temple and uh, the herbs and everything you need to take. Um, also in the morning I take a little D3. I think that's important. Forgot to say that. And uh, once in a while I take some astrologist uh, root which is good to perk up the energy and that type of thing. But that's basically it. Uh, I think most of all it's the diet and the exercise. You gotta find time to do that walking or I also recommend doing swimming. That's a great exercise. They're both easy on the body. And also as we get older it's we lose muscle mass so it's important to uh, work out with ways you use a, like a TRX system or you know like a, a weight machine of some kind or free weights e either one because if you don't we well, either use it or lose it you know <laughs> that's why I think it's really important that we that we do that uh, a lot of people I've been asked you know I've been losing muscle mass you know I think it's a diet well no uh, my dad ate a lot of meat and uh, he ended up dying at 57 of a heart attack and you can eat a lot of meat and still lose muscle mass. It's just normal to lose muscle mass as we get older. So, but we don't have to. That's absolutely not. We can have a lot of muscle mass and get older and, and not worry about, you know, you know, kind of disappearing. Uh, we just need to push a little weight. And that's important for men and women. Uh, I would recommend for women, you know, Slowly, you know, take start with two pounds and work your way up over a year to get to 25 pounds if you know, possible. Uh, weights to move around. And uh, for men, you can move up there as high as you can. Uh, maybe up to even 50 pound weights, uh, 40 pound weights. You know, um, I look usually use about 45 pound weights. And, uh, and it depends on the exercise also I'm doing. So anyway, that's my routine, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> Many blessings, my friend. If you have any questions about my diet, you can go to www.paulhater.com, and up in the right-hand corner, you'll see my diet. And uh, also, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Click on Show More down below, and it'll uh, show you more. And all my contact information is there. My consults are free. And I want to just help people in any way, shape, or form I can. But if you care to make a donation, my donation uh, link is down there also. And you have a wonderful day. I love you.